Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated video. So this is another video that I had uh, mentioned in my March status update video. Obviously I'm already running behind because we just hit April 1st here. Uh, but this was a request that came through for an updated uh, zone minder install in Docker video. Now actually I went back through my old video which was done back in January of 2019 and it was actually... Uh, still pretty functional I don't think there was anything wrong with that video but I thought I would do this one uh, using docker compose as I like to do now and uh, it's a little updated we'll check it out and I'll have the links uh, to the various pages for github and docker's uh, website as well uh, for the zone minder docker image uh, in the description below it's a pretty easy setup uh, but we'll run through everything and uh, hopefully make it not too confusing for you let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video uh, for starters we will uh, create a new network in docker this setup requires two docker containers and so they will communicate with each other on their own little network. So we'll set that up. Uh, once we do that, then we will create a Docker container for ZoneMinder's database. Once that's set up, then we will go ahead and create a Docker container for ZoneMinder itself. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add a camera to show you how that uh, functionality works in ZoneMinder. So let's get started. All right, so again, uh, for starters, we need to create a special network that will be used by the two ZoneMinder Docker containers. So we'll do a sudo docker network create znet. That's just uh, what I'm going to call that network. You can call yours whatever you want. And then we'll just do a list here just to show you that it is set up. So we'll do a sudo docker network ls. And as you can see in the list there at the bottom, znet is created. So we are good to go. Now that we have our network created, we are ready to install the ZoneMinder database Docker container. So of course we're using Docker Compose. Okay, so we'll do a sudo vi docker-compose.yaml. We'll find an open spot down here at the bottom. I'm just going to carve out a little section here for these zone minder containers. Uh, now I'm going to call this first one zm underscore db for database. Uh, I'll uh, put that as the container name as well. I'm going to set the restart to always. For the image, it's going to be mysql slash mysql dash server colon 5.7. And I'll have all this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. Now, there are several different environment variables here, so we're going to list all these out under environment. Uh, so TZ is for time zone. So TZ equals America slash Chicago. MySQL underscore user equals ZM user. MySQL underscore password equals ZM pass. MySQL underscore database equals ZM. MySQL root underscore password equals MySQL PSSWD. And MySQL underscore root underscore host equals We'll set the network mode to Znet because that's that network that we set up at the beginning of the video. Once we have all that in there, we're going to go ahead and save it. Then, of course, we're going to do a sudo docker compose up d and so let that go through and create the uh, docker uh, container.
Once that's all finished, we're gonna jump over to Portainer just to take a look, make sure everything looks good. We'll click on our new ZM underscore DB. As you can see here, everything looks good. It's part of the network ZNet down here at the bottom, so it looks good. We are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so here we are back at the command line. We are gonna do just like we did before. So we'll do a uh, sudo vi docker-compose.yaml. Just underneath our previously created uh, Docker container, we're gonna have a second one here. And I'm gonna call this one ZoneMinder because uh, this will be the actual front end of ZoneMinder. Make the container name ZoneMinder as well. You'll be able to name these whatever you want. We're gonna set the restart to always. SHM underscore size needs to be set to 4096 uh, M for megabytes. For the environment, we're going to have just two environment variables this time. So TZ equals America slash Chicago again. Again, that's my time zone. So whatever your time zone is, that's what you'll want to set yours to. ZM underscore DB underscore host equals ZM underscore DB. That is the name of that uh database docker container that we created originally network mode of course will be znet just like we set before and then for the ports uh, i'm already using port 80 for something else so we're going to uh, port forward this with 9080 as our port so i'm going to say 9080 colon 80 and then of course for the image it will be quantum object slash docker dash zone minder once we have all that in there we can go ahead and save it and again we'll do a sudo docker dash compose up dash d and this one will take a little bit longer to install we'll kind of skip ahead here once that's completed installing we're going to jump over to portainer again just to take a look at it and as you can see, everything looks good here. Everything is listed properly. And of course it is connected to that same Znet. So we are good to go. All right, so in order to access ZoneMinder's web front end, you'll go to uh, HTTP colon slash slash, whatever the IP address is of uh, your Docker uh, machine, so mine's 10.10.10.28 colon, and then of course we did that port forward, so mine's colon 9080. And you do a slash ZM on the end, and the first time you log into it, it's going to pull up a uh, privacy policy that ZoneMinder has. So you'll just scroll down to the bottom, go ahead and accept, and then of course you can go ahead and hit submit on the other corner over there. And then here we are at the ZoneMinder uh, main dashboard screen, whatever you want to call it, their console, I guess. In order to add a camera, we need to hit add, the little blue add button up towards the middle. It opens up a new little pop-up window where we're going to give our camera a name. Uh, this is my, one of my front cameras, so we'll say front one. Everything else can stay the same. For the function, we're going to change it to modect. That basically means uh, motion detection. For the source path, this will be the RTSP uh, URL for that camera. I'll put all this information in here, including the username and password to access that camera. The only other thing we need to set here is the capture resolution. So we're going to say 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. Once we have all that in there, we're going to hit save. And of course, now we should be able to click on front one there and it will open up the camera.
And of course, it has opened it up uh, extremely large, uh, bigger than what you can see in this window here. I mean, if I scroll up and down, you know, I can't even fit it all on there. But we can change the scale to half the size. There we can kind of see the whole thing, at least in the window, but there it is. So now I have a functioning camera uh, from an RTSP feed in my ZoneMinder Docker container. That's it, guys. We have installed ZoneMinder in a Docker container using Docker Compose. And then, of course, we've even added a camera uh, that is an RTSP camera. And it's as simple as that. We're done. That's the end of the video, guys. Not a whole lot to it. It's actually a pretty easy setup. As far as which one I like better out of ZoneMinder, Shinobi, and MotionEye, it's hard to say. They all have their own quirks. They all have their own features that are some that are better than others. To me, ZoneMinder probably has the most uh, feature set, but it's probably the one that looks, uh, you know, it, it's really plain looking, I guess, for the most part. It just depends on what you're going for. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, uh, we uh, created a new network in uh, in Docker. Once we did that, we uh, then set up our first Docker container for our ZoneMinder database. All right, once that first container is built, then we created a Docker container for ZoneMinder's web front end. Once that was done, lastly, all we did was add a camera. That's the end of the video, guys. Pretty simple setup, easy to do. Like I said, overall, I think I uh, I prefer Motion Eye probably over the rest of them, but ZoneMinder is definitely awesome and has a lot of features. It really just depends on your preference and what you're going to use it for. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can get something put together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks!